You know, in Japan, they have those sentos, those hot baths. I don't know if you've ever been to one, but it's really hot water and they have, um, a lot of times they're actually pumped in underground and it's mineral water. It's sulfur water is what it is, but it has a, a, a pungent smell, but oh God, it's so fabulous at the end of the day. And you'd spend maybe, you know, I don't know, 250 yen and, and you'd go in and the first time I went, they would, they would look at me like, oh, and these women, they sat down on these little stools and they would scrub their skin really hard. And I remember their skin would just glow and gloss and it was just glossy and, and it looked so healthy. And these women, they must have been, you know, 80, 90 years old. And that was their hub. That was where they would go at night to, to hang out together, to, to talk. And, and I remember I got undressed and, and I walked through the hot bath and, and they'd look up and they'd go, oh, okay, gaijin. They'd say, oh, very tall American lady. Because I was so tall compared to them when they were sitting down, kneeling down. But I'd get in the hot bath. And, you know, over a period of a couple months, I became really good friends. I could never speak to them because I didn't know what they were saying to me. And I couldn't, they didn't know what I was saying to them. But it wasn't even that we needed to speak. It was about, it was about scrubbing each other and learning their culture and um, feeling, feeling comfortable with each other. Um, and then I would leave and I'd get on my bike and I'd go straight over to the soba, uh, outside soba um, kind of tent. They would have these outside uh, restaurants. And I, uh, I would order myself a big bowl of soba and I would eat it and then I'd go home and I slept so good. It was such a great experience in my life.